Now here's how you plug a tire. It's really simple. It usually lasts a couple years. Sometimes they last forever. Jack up the car and rotate the wheel very slowly while looking for the offending screw or nail. I've already found the right one on this vehicle. Let's get to it. Actually there's two. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah it's leaking. Not leaking as fast as the other one, but it is bubbling. There's the other one. Yeah, it's definitely bubbling faster. So, without even removing the wheel, you rotate your offending screw to a place where you've got lots of room to work on it. If it's a front wheel, you turn it to stick out like this so you can work on it. Now I lower my jack just a little bit so the wheel touches the ground. I did that to stop the wheel from spinning while working on it. You could have also put the emergency brake on or something like that. Well, there's all the tools you need. Side cutters for pulling out the screw. If this hole's not that big, you might need to stick this little reamer in there and work the hole till it gets big enough to fit one of these tire cord patches the installer tool, air nipple to refill the tire, and pressure gauge, and some rubber cement glue made for putting on patches and stuff. So I've removed the cord from the package, and now the tricky part. You have to put this end in your mouth and nibble it with your molars to flatten it out and make it wet. Just make the last little bit of it wet with spit. There. Now I can fit it through the eye of the needle. It doesn't have any taste and the tip is wet now. The wetness stops it from sticking to get it through that little hole. Now just pull it till it comes to the middle. Perfect. Put some rubber cement on it. All around both sides. You don't have to get any on each tip, that's not important. Now remove the screw. Ah, uh, who cares how much air it loses? I guess that used to be a drywall screw. Now since that's such a tiny hole, I gotta stick the reamer in there and go back and forth a few times to make the hole a bit bigger. good enough. Now she's really blowing. Now you stick this in. Push hard and straight. If you let your hand go crooked, you can snap your tool off. You gotta push real hard and twist back and forth. Now get it almost all the way in. So just a little bit of the tips are sticking out. Give it a couple twists. Pull it backwards and it releases because this tool's got a little split there so it can open up. That's it. It's not even important to cut those off but you can if you want. Your side cutters will work fine or a razor blade doesn't matter or even a knife. Just refill the tire and set the pressure. Yeah, we need more. Simple as that. You get five of these in a package here in Canada and they charge you $4.99 a Canadian tire. Sounds a bit expensive, but sure does a good job. Now the only problem is when you're doing these repairs is sometimes you've got a hole on the corner of the tire or on the side. If your hole is anywhere from this point on the only thing you can do is a temporary repair by putting one of these plugs in. Because the tire flexes so much as it's driving down the road, any plug put from here on will probably work itself out. So if you do have a way of plugging your tire to get from point A to point B, do it. But don't expect that repair is going to last.